Hello everybody, welcome back to the video. In today's amazing video, this is part two of how to draw Toro versus Cool Ben. Cool Ben, also known as Bad, not below BG13 family word Ben. Um, so anyway guys, this is gonna be, like I said, part two. I'm gonna show you the rest of drawing us. Well, rest, of my, I'm gonna do Ben on my own because, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna mess up so much in it. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right. So, first thing I want to do here is change the snout into more of it coming down like that. I also don't want it come out. I want it kind of kind of like that. I go. Think that looks a bit better. Yeah, also, thank you, Colex Studios, for letting me know that these are called scoots. Nerd. I'm just kidding. Not a nerd. Yes, you are. Not. Anyways. Um. Um. <clears throat> so here we've got a big burnt mark. Of, like he's pretty badly burnt, really everywhere, but also a lot on his neck. <laughs> yeah, you hate to say. Yeah, he did not have fun last season. Not that much fun this season either. Also, that jaw looks a bit. Uh, just smooth that like that. There we go. Yeah, Tora has not had fun in this, in either, really, either seasons. Um, he actually, actually, Tora's never had fun at all. Um, he's, first of all, in first in the Camp Cretaceous, he's, I forgot exactly all the things that happened to him. Um, he, well, of course, he got burned, he got blew up. But he also, uh,. I kind of forgot exactly. Anyways, but yeah, he he's just I feel bad for him to be honest. Poor Toro. Yeah. So he was shading here. Really, really made try to make him look like he's been in a fire because he has been in a fire. And so this eye is too big. I want this eye to be more like. That. How about you? Okay. And then you can kind of shade under there. And then here he's gonna, you gonna want to add a lot of burn marks on his neck. He's really just burnt everywhere, pretty much. I'll show you where. Um, I have a reference image. I'll show you where the you no know, main burnt sparts uh part spots are. And it's a lot of it here on the neck and behind here. It's quite, I don't know if that's just, that might just be shading, but. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, now, this may not look quite like he's been burnt as more as just like either just, just sort of his pattern or heavily shaded. So, apologies for that. Yeah, so I'm gonna shade, he's got. Shaded quite a lot into here. This jaw is actually spent half the time drawing, just correcting mistakes I made. I can never just do a drawing and then never erase something. I I always erase stuff. Which is why I'm definitely not the best um, how to draw channel, but you know I'm doing my best, doing the best I possibly can. Don't know why I said that in a British accent. I don't know. So, yeah, he's gonna kind of like spot shade and burn marks there. Should look something like this. Not the best, but it'll do. I also want to add some wrinkles underneath him, like on here. Like just add a bunch of lines, kind of overlapping each other. Kind of gives it a scaly effect. Yeah, I kind of do that everywhere. He yeah, add some wrinkles kind of coming up like that. A bunch of lines continuing. All around him, underneath his eye here. More wrinkles. There we go. Like so. 
All right, shade inside the mouth a little bit more. Like that. This doesn't look exactly like Toro, I know, but yeah. All right, there we go. There's that. And shades, quite heavily shaded right under here. So let's go right ahead and do that. On this little skin fold on his neck. And under here. And kind of put this, make the scoots more prominent there. Thank you, Cole. And there we go. That looks like a pretty good neck. As good as a neck as any neck can be. Yep. Uh, yes, I am a cool kid. And let's just let's uh, put these scoots along here on his back. Well, I'm just going to say scoots a lot. And then everyone's going to think I'm weird. And then you're going to unsubscribe. No, you're not going to unsubscribe. No, you're going to be subscribed forever. And ever. And ever. Or else Burns Toro's coming for you. All right. Come on, there. there. And more skids. I mean, I'll have this it's kind of a bit more flat. Right there. Okay. And then his arms. He's got teensy little arms. Gonna have sort of a little muscle there, and then it's gonna kind of come under. I don't know why I keep saying under, but like that, and then. Then like that. Come like that, I don't really know. But the arms are actually off the page. I drew this a little bit too high. So, but anyways, it's fine. And then, I don't know exactly what to do here. I'll just kind of, I'll figure around with those things later this hands later and if you do his other this actually might be a bit too this arm's a bit too big there you go nah, it's still too big and he's got tiny tiny arms I'm kind of drawing more t-rex sized arms so I want to just make them Make them smaller. There you go. How's that? Does that look better? I'll have this kind of come more like there. And then let's take, let's just connect those two things, and that's gonna come there. All right. And then his other arm. Oh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be like that. Don't forget his thumb. He does have a thumb. I don't know if it's poseable. He does have, he has four fingers, I think. One of them is kind of thumb looking. So, let's put that in. Then all your problems should be solved forever. All right. Now let's shade. He's got quite a lot of shading under here. Um, it's a little bit of like not shade or I guess not burnt kind of there. Um, otherwise, yeah. Some places are shaded more than others. Yeah, there we go. And then carrying a burnt mark there. I don't know. Comment down below how many times I say I say burnt. In both of these parts, I say it too much, because he is Burnt Toro. Burnt Toro is the best Toro, in my opinion. I, actually, I like him kind of burnt. Um, I'll move these scoots to be more like there. And these ones. Kind of fade off there, and these ones can come down there. And there we go. Um, right here is gonna have a lot of shading in because of 
some a lot of burnt there. Burnt. Um, along with up here underneath the scoots. And then I'm gonna yeah kind of put in something that kind of looks like ribs almost. I think. Is that actually going to be a bit more like that? I think they're ribs, not totally sure. 99% sure they're ribs. And then it's going to have a big burnt mark right there. Again, I'm not the best at drawing burnt marks. There. Yeah, let's kind of make this a bit darker. All right. So let me know what you thought of Camp Cretaceous Season 2, if you've made this far in the video. Just make those arms a bit more prominent there. All right. Burnt marks like that. Bit more down here. Then here is going to have some bumpy skins. We have bumpy skins. Bumpy, bumpy from Camp Cretaceous. Bumpy. Yeah, maybe I should draw Bumpy. That'd be kind of cool. Bumpy. He's Bumpy. So is Toro. They're both Bumpy. There we go. And we can have a nice big shade under there. Or burnt. I don't I don't know if half these things are just shading or burnt marks. I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of everything. A lot of shading, a lot of burnt marks, lots of scoots, lots of, you know, everything. Basically everything. Shade underneath there. Shade up like that. It's kind of like these spikes, shades, shading pillars, or whatever you want to call them. Like that. A little bit there. And these are going to come up like that. Just here. And then the tail, we can add a bunch of scoots. Let's do that, like so. Right here it says like. So we can put that in. Along with up here. Add some more shadings. Shadings best way to say it. Nice stomach there. Shade underneath it. Shade on the chest. I need to sharpen my pencil. But... Right, what do you guys think of that so far? Alright, let's do some put some more shading underneath on all these bumps. And I'm gonna add a bunch of wrinkles coming up. So let's do that.
So up here. Like so. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm a little bit tired right now, but hope you guys can bear. Oh, I smudged a little bit. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. Yeah, okay, actually. Actually, smudging is a good technique for shading. I think I'm gonna smudge a little bit around here. Yeah, thanks for reminding me there. Smudge. Paul here. Great. So, yep. Yeah. And then I can add some more, more wrinkles. Or of course, whatever you want to call those, these little lines. Boom, bada bing. It's got quite a long neck here. Don't really know what's up with that. Kind of bulge out more. All right, now for here on the leg, it's very heavily shaded. To about like that. And just darken this area down here. The fun area. There we go. Not to where this leg is. She or the bone is. Some wrinkles coming down there a little bit. Here, back where the leg is. All right. Bring the leg up to there. And there we go. All right, I think that's gonna kind of do it for the video. I think I'm gonna just finish up the little finishing touches in the time lapse. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, see you at the end of the time lapse.